Well, lots of moms didn't get to spend last Mother's Day with their loved ones, so more than a year into the pandemic now, this Mother's Day was extra special for a lot of families. Erica Ferrando has more. This mother and daughter, Angel and Aria Williams, are thankful to spend this Mother's Day together along Magazine Street. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Of course, we're still very cautious. So we want to keep the mask on. Last Mother's Day, they were apart. We all had to sacrifice. Williams is a nurse and didn't want to risk exposing her daughter. Well, last Mother's Day, I actually had to quarantine her um, by my mother out of state. So since the pandemic, this is our first time together for the holiday. Mother's Day 2020, Louisiana was under a stay at home order. Businesses were closed. Restaurants were to go only and visiting anyone outside our household was discouraged. This Mother's Day is the first holiday since the statewide mask mandate was lifted. Vaccines and eased restrictions have more people getting out and coming together. Last Mother's Day, um, it was just quiet, really quiet. I didn't get to see my mom. We FaceTime. This Mother's Day, I can go over to her house and sit and celebrate with her. Everything is going back to normal, so that's a good thing. People are out again, and it's it's nice to see. We also spoke with some families who still weren't comfortable going to restaurants and didn't want to be around too many people, so they planned their own celebrations at the lakefront. Joyce Royal Simmons spent last Mother's Day alone. Didn't let nobody come to the house. I didn't go anywhere, but now I have my shot and my mask I keeps on, so I can go everywhere. But I don't go around a lot of mixed up people, you know, a lot of crowd because that stuff is still out there. To make this weekend extra special, her son drove in from Dallas. We surprised her on Saturday, and I swear we thought she was going to catch a heart attack. When I turned around, he was there. I said, oh, Lord, my baby here. And it was a nice experience. I was so glad he came home because the virus kept so many families away for so long. We the grandmothers. These grandmothers were surprised, too, with the family brunch. This Mother's Day, we celebrating together. Last Mother's Day, we were in the house separately. Everybody kind of stayed to themselves. It is just wonderful, just wonderful. Spending time together is all a mother wants, and this year they're making the most of it. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.